the baby on wall. We're gonna talk about something, well, a little bit different. We're gonna talk about babies. Little bitty babies, little precious babies. One thing that I've come to realize over the past several years, you know, like I said, you know, in our previous videos, you know, you know, me and my wife, we're blessed to have a lot of grandchildren. And I, and I thank God for that. And with, with having the grandchildren and, you know, being a grandparent for over 15 years now, we've seen quite a bit. We've seen quite a bit. And one thing that, I, that I've come to realize and come to understand that we're not going to be perfect. You know, that's the thing as, as parents and grandparents, we want to be perfect for these children. We want to be perfect for the, we always want to show up, you know, perfect for them and give them a greater experience than we ever experienced. Here's the thing. Here's the blessing about babies. Babies don't care. Babies don't care if they have a room full of toys. Baby don't, babies don't care if you're not the, you know, most successful person in the world. Babies don't care. All babies want and all babies need is for you to love them and care for them and to spend, you know, and to be there for them because they can't provide for themselves and just to make sure that they're safe. And they don't even know that that's all that they want, but that's all that they want. You know, I mean, I, I, I tell you, this is a very interesting time. There are a lot of babies, you know, um, being born right now and over the past couple of years. And I mean, this is a blessing. This is a time to step back and just look at, you know, with all the craziness going on in the world and everything, you know, God is still saying, you know, here you go. You still have another chance. Here's a fresh new human being. Treat them right. <laughs> you know, take care of them. You know, you've seen a lot. You've been through a lot. Here's another one. Go. You know, so it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when we have babies around us. And one thing that, that happens to, I know me as a, as a parent and as a grandparent, I feel like, oh, there's so much I didn't get to do for my child or for my grandchildren. So much I want to do. This past summer is very interesting. The summer of 2022 is really going to go on the record books for a lot of reasons. For me personally, there was a lot of times in 2022 when there were things going on with my grandchildren that I really wish I was there at this one and wish I was there at this event and this at this function and there for this time. And God put me in a position sometimes. There was there were multiple days where there were multiple things going on. I'm talking about all around the state, whether it was Indianapolis, whether it was you know, Wabash, whether it was you know here, whether it was there. And I would stand back and I would look. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm a grandparent. It's not my job to be everywhere. As long as their parents are there, job well done. So, I, so I've been able to you know stand back and look at my children, parent, and be there for their children. And, you know, give them the attention. And so as a grandparent, I get to step back and dope. I get to, you know, show up where I, where, I, where I want to, when I want to, and be a part of my grandchildren's lives as much as I possibly can. Oh, I have a choice. That's the difference between being a grandparent and a, and a parent. A parent, you, you got to be there every day. That's your job. <laughs> That's your job. As a grandparent... You get to pick a lot of the days you get to be somewhere. So that's kind of awesome. And I, I love I love grandparenting. I'm going to be honest with you. But it also gives us a chance to really stand back and look at the whole picture, the whole entire picture. As a parent, you're in the fight. You're in the trenches. You know, there's a lot of things you just are not going to be able to see. And as a grandparent, we get to stand back and actually see, OK, you know, I don't get to talk to my my my, my adult child as much because they have to go you know, take care of their responsibilities and they have to provide for, you know, these children. Okay, so step back and, okay, give them breath, give them a room and just, you know, appreciate you have all these awesome grandchildren doing all these awesome things. Right now we have, you know, we have a granddaughter who's starting basketball, first time playing basketball, it's awesome. We have a granddaughter who's wrestling. We have a grandson who's who's playing football and who's um, looking at wrestling, you know, and, you know, we have grandchildren that love to run. You know, we have grandchildren that that are taking trips. You know, we have grandchildren that are spending time. With, I'm I'm standing back looking, and I'm like, oh wow, you know, I thank God for all of the situations that my grandchildren are able to partake in. You know, I've got a grandchild. You know, who gets to you know, drive around on little cars and you know grow up around animals. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, wow. Okay, step back, James, and just really look at. And appreciate, appreciate the time that we're in 
for the children. You see, there are some rough times. I'm going to be honest. You know, we know what these days are like. And this this video, this video is to kind of encourage us all to you know, look at the babies. Look at the babies. If you if you have access to a baby, get around them, love on them, kiss them, you know, get that energy. Because the reality of it is, is with everything that's going on crazy in this world, there are some so many awesome babies out here that you just go, go get around them, be a part of their life. if They're not part of your life. You know, get around, get that energy, get that fresh new energy. You know, I look at my grandson's pictures, you know, on, on, on social media because I don't, can't just, you know, drive all the way over here and see him all the time. And I see him and I'm just like, oh, wow. You know, it's so encouraging every day to get that. You know, me and my wife used to call it back in the day to get that baby fix. You know, we at one point in time, several years ago, we had all kind of babies around us and everything. You know, and then we went through a dry spell where there weren't, you know, no more babies. <laughs> this just happens, you know, with, with everybody. But, you know, now is the time when we have the opportunity to really become a part of breathing life and, and, and you know, health and, and wealth into, into a whole nother generation. And I'm going to tell you, as crazy as things are, whether it be inflation, whether it be depression, whether it be whatever's going on. Here's the thing. Get around a baby. Find a precious little baby to go be a part of, to show up to, just to hold, just to hug, just to understand, you know, God is giving us so many chances, so many chances. And you can, you can, I, I, I dare say, in my opinion, you cannot see more chance and more opportunity and more, you know, more optimism than you can see in a baby's face. I don't care where I don't care where the baby's from. I don't care if the baby's from Europe. I don't care if the baby's from from South America. I don't care if the baby's from Australia, from Africa, from Iceland, wherever that baby is from. Whenever you see a little baby, and you get the chance to be in the, in, the, in the vicinity of a little baby, that is pure optimism in the human experience. It is pure un you know untethered you know un uncompromised you know, positive energy in that human being. And so I encourage you, you know, if there's a baby around you, reach out to them. You know, if you can't, if you can't physically go there, say, hey, can I get, you know, can I get some FaceTime with, with, with that baby, you know, or what, what, you know, on the phone or whatever, you know, technology is helping us out a lot. So really take the time just to understand we are surrounded by a lot of awesome babies. And I think in my, well, I know for a fact that my family in 2022 has been a very, very hard year. And there's been a lot of loss, a lot of loss. And there's been birth, you know, there's been birth. There's been, there's been, there's been a lot of struggle, but there's been life generated. There's been a lot of pain, physical pain, emotional pain, a whole lot, like at the highest highs, right? A lot of financial pain at the highest highs. But, you know, in conjunction with that, though, there's been an, a, an insurgence of awesome not just the babies, but babies that we've seen grow up, you know, that are, that are turning 18, that are turning 21. And it's like, oh, wow. You know, I remember when this one was a baby. I remember when we used to hold this one and rock this one and feed this one. And now they're adults. Oh, wow. And this is what they're doing. And then you can see the impact that you may or may not have had in that in that in that human's life. And so, you know, when you're when you're breathing positivity into 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 a baby's life. And you know your part in that child's life has always been one of genuine, you know, caring and sincere showing up as much as you possibly can. See, that's the one thing I love about babies. As long as you're trying, as long as you're trying, as long as you're sincerely trying, that baby's going to give you a pass. As long as you can get that diaper changed, get that food in them, you know, and keep them warm and, and hold them. They don't care if you're poor or rich. They don't care, <laughs> they don't care if you're white or black. They don't care if you're smart or not that smart. They don't care if you read a lot of books, if you don't read a book at all. They don't care if you play video games. They don't care if you run fast. They don't care if you can run at all. You know, babies are awesome. They, <laughs> babies, babies give you a validation that no other human on this world can give you, that only God can give you. That's why, you know, get around a baby. If you have not had the opportunity of late to hold a baby, I'm just going to stop right there. Just hold the baby. Go find a precious little baby and say, please, can I hold that baby? 
I'm going to tell you, I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care if you can physically hold a baby. I don't care if, 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 if everything that can bad go happen to you is going, going in and then it's happening to you. You hold that baby and you will see pure, unadulterated, pure, you know, just, you know, just a, you know, that pure joy, that pure essence, that, that peacefulness, you know, even if the baby's crying, but still peacefulness, that just pure human that's setting in your arms, that's laying in your arms, that has done nothing to anyone, that has done nothing to anyone, that has done nothing to you, that has done nothing in this world, but get here, you know, so get around a baby, you know, I'll tell you what, we have you know, we have some awesome children in our family. I'm just going to, you're probably going to hear me dote a lot on my, on my, on my children, grandchildren, because I tell you, the more I think about them, the more, you know, excited I get. So when I look at my, my personal journey and I'm not getting where I'm supposed to be getting, I'm, you know, I'm not making the money I need to be making. I'm not, I'm not getting the progress that I need to, you know, to see, you know, there's a lot of progress I need to get done. I got to do this, got to do that, got to do that. I stop and think about my grandchildren, which really driving over the past six and a half years, they have propelled me to go to these great lengths, whatever I, whatever it is that I do on a, on a, on a, on a, on a day, whether I drive, you know, 200 miles just to, you know, pick up some food or drop off some food or just to, you know, just to check in or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that I particularly have to do on a day. I think about, th- you know, it's all for them. I put it on paper. I look at it. I'm like, oh, but they're growing so fast. I don't have enough time. Here's the thing. Praise God. Everything happens in the time that it's supposed to happen in. And when you deal with babies, you got to understand something about a baby. No matter how awesome and precious that baby is, it's going to take 21 years for that baby to be 21. (laughs) It's going to take 21 years. There's no rushing that. There's no rushing that. There's going to be, it's going to take 21 years for that baby to be 21. With that in mind, you know, time is a very interesting thing. You don't, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm very big on not wasting um, time, not wasting my time, not wasting anybody else's time. And I think, you know, that's a, like, in my, you know, in my opinion, that's a very, that's a very disrespectful thing to waste somebody's time. But I'm going to tell you, you know, we have to also appreciate, you know, the time that God has given us. And we can see that best in babies. You know, the little bitty babies, the toddlers, you know, the young ones that are just learning how to do this world, (laughs) do this life thing that we've been doing for a while. You know, just to see that pure unadulterated, oh, this little human being is going to do what we teach it to do. This little human being is going to, you know, be how we nurture it to be. It's going to learn, you know, from the environment that we place this little human being in. So I'm encouraging you, you know, get it around the baby, you know. If it, you know, if you can't physically get to one, call somebody with a baby, say, can I talk to the baby on the phone? You know, can I FaceTime the baby? <laughs> what have you? You know, just really find a baby and get around that baby. That energy is priceless, priceless. And I thank God for right now, we have a lot of little babies. We have a lot of little new opportunities to really make sure that no matter, I don't, I'm, and I'm going to be honest, I don't care how horrible anything is going on right now in the whole entire world, in the whole entire world, as long as we have babies, we have little ones, we have opportunity to repair and fix and make this thing better by the grace of God. And I'm going to tell you, find a baby, love a baby, kiss a baby, hug a baby, make sure to protect and take care of that baby and make sure to help those, you know, that are taking care of babies, you know, get around them, support them, you know, give them a Give them a shot to to raise a healthy, you know, a healthy, productive, energetic, you know, you know, happy individual that that, you know, carries it on, that, that, that passes it on to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. And this is how we fulfill our goals in life, you know, to be who God created for us to be, you know, is to really make sure that we keep our eyes stayed upon these little ones. And that we become a part of and be a part of their life, you know, and and this is how we break all of these barriers. And this is how we break all of these curses that we've laid upon ourselves. 
So, well, you know, today on well, just took another little turn. You know, we're going to, you know, we just decided to talk about babies, you know, because we love them. And, and, you know, and on, you know, on this Friday, be encouraged, be encouraged that all the optimism in the world that we need, we can see in babies. So, well, have a great day. God bless you.